Hi, my name is Cole Adams. I'm a micro creator here in the arts and crafts space. I love working with paint and fabric to make beautiful art and really inspiring um, content. So today we're gonna talk about creating, these are my gel plate prints. Um, some of them are really just kind of the part that needed to get hit. This is all on deli paper, so it's a uh, pretty translucent paper. You can kind of see my hand through there. Um, when you glue it down, it gets even more translucent. Um, but these are really just starts. And I want to create an abstracted, maybe kind of landscape. Um, here is a full moon outside the window right now. I'm right on the water at an Airbnb. And this um, moon shape is where I'm kind of jumping off from. This was a piece of paper I cleaned the jelly roller or the rolling, um, the roller off onto the brayer. That's the word, <laughs> the brayer off onto. And this moon shape is from my really teeny tiny um, gel plate, and it has some really cool textures in it. And I think um, it's got some maybe silver paint in it. So that's my highlight that's where i'm aiming for and i'm going to use all these other pieces to support um it from below but i'm really planning on this being an abstract landscape but mainly an abstract so i'm going to be working with big bold shapes and interesting color combos um, i only grabbed these three pieces and i kind of wanted to to really work um with just a little bit of material to kind of give myself some some river borders, I call um, my type of planning process with painting. Um, the painting is the river and then the borders are the things that it isn't gonna be. And right now, these are the three pieces of paper I'm gonna work with. I do have some paint and some tools um, that I brought with me that will help me push um, these papers a little bit, but pretty much I'm working with these. So I can't wait to create with you. I hope that you grab something to work along with. Um, maybe some of your old, if you have any jelly plate prints, just grab them and let's play. I'm turning you around now. Okay, Wild Lens, let's get this going. Um, this collage is going to be inspired by this moon and wow, the moon I saw last night. Um, I am so blessed by where I live. I love the Pacific Northwest. And last night did not disappoint. Um, it was the moon over the water and it was so delicious. Um, so I think this <clears throat> is gonna be my night sky. And then I'm gonna actually add some water to the bottom. And I think I'm just going to go for it and tear that shape out. Um, I'm trying to work really quickly. I do not like uh, cut edges in this. I don't really want cut edges in this collage. So I'm going to be tearing almost everything. And like here where it goes to that straight line, I'd rather have the organic <coughs> torn line. Pardon me. It is uh, early morning here. I'm going to just get up and work while I could because I've still got my the rest of my class today. So even though like a natural horizon line would be um, perfectly flat. I kind of think, I don't mind that it's a little wonky. And I think, I was thinking about using this piece to create the kind of subtle feeling 
of the lights. Um, do I tear this or do I think about this more? I'm gonna tear it. Um, the lights on the edges. So when you're when you're at the water, um, often there's a hill or ridge on the other side of the Salish Sea, and the Salish Sea is thin, especially where I'm at right now. Um, so you can actually see the lights of other people, people staying in their houses and enjoying the evening as well. So I kind of wanted to get the feeling <clears throat> of those hills and lights. I'm actually going to go and make this just a little bit straighter now that I have that element in. But I really am thinking this is going to be a pretty quick um, collage because I, I kind of want it to be not as thought out, not as uber planned. I really like how this mimics the shape. I think I like that. I think that's the starting spot. And then, because <clears throat> I'm only using a couple pieces of paper, um, I have the only thing I have left in texture, and I don't have much texture in this piece yet, is this um, kind of. circular texture. I want to go with about the width of the moon. Something that I noticed so much yesterday and loved so much was the reflection of the moon in the water. And I think I'm going to move everything up a little. I have a little bit more blue shape. I think I'm going to add this. This is the top of that piece. I think adding just a little bit more water will behoove us. And this blue too, so that could slip up underneath. So I think this is gonna be a long kind of vertical piece is what it feels like to me. And then I wanted to put this shape over the top because I feel like that gives the idea of the reflection but isn't literal and I think I'm going to start it just a little bit lower than that so you get a little space there. Um, I have some lost thing but when I glue this really firmly together it won't it will disappear so I'm going to do that off camera just because it's kind of a messy process but <clears throat> Trying to decide, I have this one little piece of trash on my board. If I slide this underneath, ooh, I kind of like that. Yep, I'm gonna use my piece of trash too. But I'm not gonna use it centered. I really want it straight and kind of just a little bit off. It's kind of interesting because that would be the only cut shape and everything else would be torn. Do I like that? I think I do. Okay. I'm gonna get it together and I think end up trimming it down to about here. I might not trim it yet because I might look at what substrates I have at home to hook it to and that might be my deciding factor. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let me get it glued together. Okay, I've decided to not glue it down yet and I might break my rule and find some more blue paper because I'm pretty sure I have some to add just a little bit of blue paper here. I could have pulled it out from underneath, but decided not to instead have a little bit more integrity for the piece. Because um, I am needing to drive it home. 
So I wanted to be real careful on how much integrity and space I had, but I know I have some of this dark blue at home and I can easily add just a chunk there for the night sky to really pop. Um, this piece, I did decide to tear once I got it. Um, all the rest glued down. I tried it a couple times. I went, ah, I think I'm going to tear it. But I love that it adds that bright kind of white color. Um, I was going to pull out pins and really work on this piece, but I believe it's pretty beautiful just the way it is. So usually what I do when I finish a painting or finish a collage like this, I think about what um, substrate I'm going to put it on. And then I also hang it in my house, kind of where I live with it for a few days, just to make sure there isn't any parts that are really standing out to me. But I love the strong vertical shape. I really want to tighten it up so it becomes even more of a vertical piece, but I think I'm going to need a little bit more here. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the collage portion of Deli Prate plate printing um, and or jelly plate printing on deli paper and I probably will take this little extra bit and just fold it up onto the back for even more security um, I think I like that look a lot so yeah I hope you enjoyed and if you are liking this content and want to have more of it, please like and subscribe and comment and let me know what you do with your uh, stack of jelly papers um, after you've played and made such beautiful art with jelly plate.